loading in for a flight with the screaming eagles of the 101st Airborne Division. Soldiers who take living on the edge to the next level. Conducting air assault drills out of Black Hawk helicopters on the very edge of NATO territory. We're the closest uh, U.S. Army formation to, to the fight in Ukraine right now. We're taking it as close as we can to combat, right? So we're preparing for large-scale combat operations. We're exercising on the ground which, which we might fight, you know, if we were to have to defend NATO. VOA joined Colonel Ed Mathitis, the commander of the 101st 2nd Brigade Combat Team, on a Black Hawk ride north along Romania's Black Sea coastline. pick up speed and fly south under the radar. U.S. and Romanian forces at a training post are learning how to move around in towns and cities, going door to door, clearing buildings. This is the first time the 101st Airborne Division has deployed to Europe since World War II. And Mathitis says they're watching Russian tactics in neighboring Ukraine and adapting their training with partners to what they see on the battlefield. We just got done with a big series of live fires where we, uh, we attacked some trench lines that look very similar to what you might see across the border. Uh, we had to shoot down, you know, small unmanned aerial systems very similar to what's flooding the, the battlefield right now across the border. This week, soldiers offered their punishing air assault course to partners on European soil for the first time. A course some soldiers have called the 10 toughest days in the army. The course was something new for me, for us, for all the Romanians. Uh, we don't have such a course in Romania because we don't have uh, the, same, uh, the same kind of abilities. It's a great opportunity to train together, to get better. What war? It's about life and death, and uh, is that makes the difference between failure and success. So if you want to be successful, we are to be together, to stick together, and uh, build this interoperability. And this increase of U.S. soldiers in Romania is the new normal, at least for about the next year. The Pentagon recently confirmed that once this brigade leaves, another brigade from the 101st is set to replace them. Reporting at Mihail Kolganichianu Air Base in Romania, I'm Carla Babb, VOA News.